Before we start chapter two, we are going to talk about the lowest common denominator. This is a refresher concept, and although it's not technically a part of our curriculum, uh, we will need the concept of a lowest common denominator to do much of chapter two. For example, we start chapter two by, by solving uh, equations, and some of these equations will have a denominator. So one of the things we'll have to do is we will have to know how to find the least or the lowest common denominator in order to clear the fractions. So let's talk about the, the definition of the lowest common denominator. The definition of the lowest common denominator is the, sm it's the, the lowest common denominator is the smallest number that each term of the denominator can divide. In other words, this is the smallest number that is a common multiple of each term of the denominator. Okay, so, so let's break down this term. This is the, it's the lowest common denominator. Well, common, it means that this has to be a common multiple of each term of the denominator. But there might be lots of common multiples. So the lowest common denominator is the lowest such common multiple that is a common multiple of all the denominators. Here's an example. True or false, the lowest common denominator of 2 thirds, 5 sixths, and 1 9 is 3. So first, I'm going to start by circling the three denominators. We have 3, 6, and 9. And by definition, the least common denominator is the smallest number that each term of the denominator can divide. So let's go through each of these. So let's start with 3. We're going to take our least common denominator. So I'm, I'm going to make uh, two columns here, one for the least common denominator, which we said is 3, and then one for the, for the, for the actual denominators. By definition, if this is a LCD, then the LCD should be di divisible by each of the denominators. So let's let's take the LCD is three, and our first denominator is three. Can we do three, di three divided by three? That's one, so so far so good. Okay, now let's take our LCD, which is three. It has to be divisible by six and nine. So the six divide three, um, actually, you know, it six, three is not a multiple of six. So, 6 doesn't divide 3. What about 9? Our LCD is 3. Um, can we do 3 divided by 9? Um, we can't. We will not get a whole number. So 3 is not the least common denominator of 2 thirds, 5 sixths, and 1 9. So this is false. Let's look at the next example. True or false? The lowest common denominator of 2 thirds, 5 sixths, and 1 9 is 18. Okay, so once again, let's do our test. I'm going to have the LCD and I'm going to have all the different denominators. If 18 is a least common denominator, then by definition, each term of the denominator should be able to divide 18. Okay, so let's start with the three. Can three divide 18? Yes, we get a whole number, which is six. Let's go to six. Can six divide 18? Yeah, uh, 18 divided by six is three. Can nine divide 18? Yes, 18 divided by 9 is 2. So therefore, 18 is the lowest common denominator of 2 thirds, 5 sixths, and 1 ninth. Now, how do we find the lowest common denominator? Well, um, there are multiple ways, but the way I'm going to discuss is we're going to write out the multiples of each denominator until you find a number that is a common multiple. Okay, so we already know what the answer is. This is these are the same three fractions as a previous example. So we know the answer is 18, but how do we get that? So first, let's take a focus on the denominators of so 3, 6, and 9, and let's list out all the multiples of 3. So we got 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. You know, list out a few. Uh, we got 6, so we got 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, etc., etc. For 9, we got 9, 18, 27, 36, 45. We want to find the smallest number that is a common multiple of all three, and that is going to be 18. So the least common denominator is 18. Let's look at one more example. We want to find the least common denominator of 10, 15, and 6. So what do we do? We list out all the multiples of 10, 15, and 6. So we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, etc., etc. We got 15. 30, 
45, 60, 75. We have 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36. Now, the least common denominator is the smallest number that is a multiple of 10, 15, and 6. And that is going to be 30. So the least common denominator will be 30. Now, we have two more examples, which I would like you to think about. And we will do these in class. So, so please find the least common denominator of 1 half, 3 fourths, 7 over 8, and 15 over 16. And also the least common denominator of 12, 8, and 16. And we will start class by talking about these examples.